All right, everybody, let me show you a few pickups I had today at Marshall's. Gonna start off with these Nike Blazer Lows. These are black suede, men's size 10 and a half. Pretty neat shoe. Picked these up on clearance at Marshall's for $21, so definitely should make some money on those. Got these um, Nike Edge uh, 270s, I guess like utility. Got two pair of these men's size eight. They were 40 bucks a piece, so definitely should double up on those. Got some of these Nike uh, Kyrie 2 fly traps. I bought three pair of these actually. These are size men's eights too, and ended up uh, getting them for $27. So definitely should make some profit on those as well. Getting ready to show you some pickups that I had this week. It wasn't the best week sourcing, but you know, sometimes it's like that, but I will show you uh, what I picked up and I hope you've been enjoying these videos uh, here's some uh, Adidas I guess racers kind of like a silver colorway yeah but if you enjoyed the video hey do me a huge favor hit that thumbs up button you hadn't already subscribed to the channel drop me a comment down below I think I spotted some more yeah more racers here and this store was pretty dry and sometimes it is you know how it is and I think I spot some Hardens down here, so I'm getting ready to check them out. Yeah, but I should have known when I picked them up, they were a huge size. I think these were like size 19 or 20. But definitely if these would have been a good size, I would have picked them up. And I think they were like $29.99. Uh, so I only had one find at this store. I'm getting ready to show you, which I've already sold these shoes. These are some... Uh, Nike Air Force Ones. These were women's. The white with the university red. Paid $49.99 for these. And actually I sold them on Depop for $100 plus shipping. So uh, pretty good profit on those. So next I'm going to switch it up. We're going to show you some footage from a Goodwill. I do like to source uh, new and used shoes. Um, you know lately I've been sourcing more new shoes. But definitely... Uh, Pre-owned shoes is a good way to go too. I'm checking out these uh, Brooks here. Brooks is a great brand to pick up. As you can see, they got a hole in the toe box area. So I had to put them back. But definitely one of my favorite pre-owned brands to source. And here's another uh, bread and butter brand. These uh, Asics. But these were pretty much basic ones. And they were missing insoles. So I put them back. But actually, I think I ended up walking out of this store with four shoes, and one of these potentially could bring up to a hundred dollars. I just got to do a little more homework on it. Uh, but all these shoes I'm getting ready to show you averaged out to uh, seven dollars a piece, so definitely some good money to be made on selling used shoes, and definitely a good way to start if you want to get into reselling. So the video kind of messes up here, but just please bear with me. Uh, these boots that I found are some uh, Lucchese boots. I've never found this brand before and the comps were all over the place. Anywhere from like 60 to 200. So I'm getting ready to show you what the uh, label looks like. So you know what to be on the lookout for. So there's the name right there, Lucchese. Let me know if you've ever sold these boots before. These were in pretty good condition. So I'm hoping I'll get at least 100 bucks for these. And I got some Allegria clogs here. Allegria, Allegria is a great brand to be on the lookout for. Got some more uh, Air Force Ones that I got to clean up. Those were like a size 13. And I found some of these Justin like uh, work boots. They were in really good condition. So definitely should make some good money on those. I'd say they'd bring probably like 40 or $50 without checking the comps on them. And next, I'm getting ready to go to a Marshalls and show you what I pick up there. And no, I don't walk this fast. I just sped the video up for you so I wouldn't waste your time. But yeah, just walking through, looking at the shoes on display. And I'm sure that you've seen most of these shoes at your local uh, Marshalls. You know, the Gravities. Got these uh, Pulse Boost HDs. I think they were $39.99. Had some of those Continentals for $29.99. And I only found one shoe at this store too. I wish they would have had more of them because I really like this shoe and the colorway. Uh, these are some Nike Air Jordan Legacies 312. These are size 7 wide, but they were only $39.99 new with the box. 
and I definitely think I doubled my money on these as well. So next, we are getting ready to hit a Burlington Coat Factory. Uh, the Burlington Coat Factory I usually go to has been pretty dry, as you can see in this store. But I did manage to pick up those Jordan 1s. And I'm starting here at the bigger sizes, working my way down. You can see all the gaps in the store. So let me know how your Burlington's have been. Got these Tommy Hilfinger shoes. The store was flooded with those. So let me know how your Burlington's have been. You know, I've been seeing people find crazy stuff there on Instagram. But hey, I mean, you never know till you go. Got some Polo Ralph Lauren shoes. And I did end up finding some more Jordan 1s. These are women's size 10. These are blue leather zip up like a Charlotte Hornets colorway. They were $49.99. Actually, I found another pair of those today and I picked them up. So they haven't sold yet, but I'm hoping they bring a hundred plus. And we're nearing the end of the video. So if you've watched this far, please give me a thumbs up. Get ready to do the outro for you in just a minute. Hello everybody, hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button for me, it really helps. Subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And as always, I wish you the best. Stay safe out there and God bless and we'll catch you on the next video.